Hey, well, happy Sunday morning to you. Welcome to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. And uh, we just welcome you and uh, ask you to prepare yourselves to receive. God has a great message for us. You know, He always has a great message for us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me. And I, I'm, I, I, it's not about me, it's about Him. I'm just a messenger. Amen. <laughs> so listen to, to the message. Amen. Don't look, well, He didn't look right. He didn't wear this, He didn't wear that. You know, His hair was not right. You're missing it. Yes. Get your mind ready. Yes. Clear your minds. Thank Just you be a little sponge. Oh, yeah. Sponge up all the things he has for us. You know, God has something for you. Yes. You know, as a matter of fact, you come with an attitude of saying, Lord, you've got something for me. Amen. And I'm going to grab it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Instead of grabbing all those excuses <laughs> that are going around <laughs> about not coming or excuses about whatever. All right. Don't grab the excuses. Thank you, Lord. Just say Lord, you have something for me. Amen. I want it. It's yes. mine. Amen. 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 You know, he's the potter. And he's going to just keep you there until you're just right for him. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You're right. Amen. <laughs> I'm getting way ahead of myself. It's all right. We're waiting for the world's approval. And he's already approved you. Yeah. And yeah. appointed yeah. you. Yeah. And called yeah. you to go. Yeah. Yeah. Says you can do all things through me. Yeah. Yeah. That mission yeah. field where you work at. <laughs> that place you visit all the time. Mm -hmm. That's the area where I want you. And I've already approved you mm -hmm. and appointed you mm -hmm. so you can go with my blessing. Amen. And we're still waiting for the world's or mm -hmm. our friend's blessings. <laughs> mm -mm. He's already approved us. You're approved, church. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just know, you know, if you try to please the world, you try to please men, you're never going to please them. Because mm -hmm. just right. out of jealousy, you're never going to be good enough. That's right. That's right. They're going to hate true. you no matter what you try. Mm -hmm. You know, so anyway. Prepare yourself to receive church. Let the word of God bless you, encourage you, change you, and sometimes convict you. Yes. Yeah. Because he's not finished with us. That's right. Say, well, we still got to work with this. Uh, let me see. There's something in here that says something like this. God uses people um, just, just like sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just to rub you oh, oh the little my. edges off of you. you know? uh, Still got some edges there that need oh to be rubbed God. off. You know, and sometimes mm -hmm. you use these people <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt a little bit. Yeah. You know? But you know what? Keep your eyes on Him. Amen. Amen. Keep your eyes on Him. Amen. Praise God. Before Thank we get too far away, where's our... Yeah. Open your Bibles, grab your Bibles, grab uh -huh. your swords. Amen. Amen. Where's yours? Let me see yours. Right. All right. There you go. All right. This is my Bible. I have a I have a I have a I can do what I Today I'm going to go out of the For Jesus, amen. 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 Being fruitful for Jesus. Let me give you a few nuggets mm -hmm. that I uh, I want to read to you. Okay. Maybe I'll give you a handout, but a few nuggets. Listen to this, and this is for somebody. So grab it. If it's yours, grab it. This is for me. I grabbed all these for myself. Amen. Okay. Who cares what people have to say about you? Oh yeah. Let them talk. Let them talk. It says the words. Listen, the words can't stop. What God has planned for you. Amen. That's right. You know, we're so wanting to be approved, but they turn you down. Uh, they hate you. Uh -uh. But God has already. Yes, He's approved us. He's approved us. Amen. Yes. It says, Man. no matter what, they can't stop what God planned for you. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jeremiah, He tells us He's got great plans for us. Yes. yes. And none and of them include And you know what? Feet. None of them include defeat. And guess That's what? It. You know, we've talked about this. You've got a Bible. Get you a highlighter, get you a pen, write on it, highlight on it, personalize it. Mm -hmm. He told Jeremiah is talking about Jose. Mm -hmm. He's got great plans for Jose. Yes. Put your name there. Amen. Praise if God has ordained it, no power can stop it. That's it. Amen. Amen. You're ordained of God. Amen. You're appointed of God. Amen. And if he's done this for you, he says, no power. I don't care what kind of power it is. That's no right. power can stop it. Yes. So it's kind of, only thing can stop you is yourself. Mm. Somebody says something and you heard something and now you've been sitting on the sidelines for mm -hmm. 20 years mm -hmm. because somebody says something. It's mm -hmm. time to press on. Amen. You know? hey, Amen. Let it go. Amen. 
Oh man, these are good. Family is like branches on a tree. We're going to be talking about this. We all grow in different directions, but our roots remain as one. Mm -hmm. You see a tree, and it's spread out. Mm -hmm. Many branches, and we go different ways. Mm -hmm. But, it says the, Bible, the Bible talks about one body, mm -hmm. many parts. Yes. Amen. We have unity Amen. in Him. Amen. But our root system remains as one. Mm. Stop focusing and stressing on how stressed you are and remember how blessed you are. Mm -hmm. You know, if you join a conversation, it doesn't matter. They'll always, there's always going to be somebody that's got worse than you. Mm. And you go around there and you want to join in. Let them know how blessed you are. Amen. How come you're so yes, blessed? Man. How come you're always smiling? Because when they open the door, you slide in and you say, because Jesus loves me. Amen. Because Jesus loves me. He blesses me all the time. Amen. Count your blessings. Amen. Count your blessings Amen. all the time. Don't forget it. Don't worry about the stress. Let the stress Amen. go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. All right. Let's get started. Amen. Blooming for Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, I love this. Blooming for Jesus. You know, this is perfect. The, the, the weather out there is perfect. And you can see the, the deserts. Of course, we're in the Chihuahua Desert. Those of you who are watching, listening. This is the Chihuahua Desert, Big Bend area. If you've never taken the river road between Presidio and... Uh, oh, my God. Well, from here to Presidio and yes. Presidio through... Uh, big Bend. My big city of Redford. <laughs> <laughs> to the heat that's all the way to the Big Bend. You see that right now, you see the desert just coming alive. Mm -hmm. You see all the blooms coming out. It's beautiful. Amen? Amen. So this is the time. And of course, God brings changes to us. Amen? Amen. Yes, he so does. he wants you to bloom where you're planted. God puts you or sets you where he wants you. So be fruitful where God puts you. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about Paul, and Paul was in prison for most of his life. Mm -hmm. And he wrote two-thirds of the uh, New Testament. But he was fruitful. Even in prison. Prison never had him. Even mm -hmm. though he was there, it never had him. That's right. Don't let the world or things of the world grab you and hold you in Amen. bondage. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You're free in him. Amen. Praise yes. God. Woo. Strong roots produce good fruits. Amen. Uh -huh. So we want some strong roots. Amen. Listen to this. The roots of stability come from being grounded in the word of God. What's going to give you some good roots? The word of God. Amen. Yes. Maturity. You know, seasons, we're talking about seasons, our seasons of maturity. We mature in Him yeah. on a daily basis. We mature in Him on a monthly, yearly basis. But we're maturing. And the seasons come and the seasons go. But still, last season, I wasn't at that level yet. Mm -hmm. This season, I'm more mature. Mm -hmm. And growing in Him and going for Him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let me read you a couple of scriptures. <clears throat> well, Ephesians uh, 6, we talked about the armor of God last week. Ephesians 6, um, verses uh, 13 and 14 talk. Just a quick thing. It says, when we've done all the stand, yeah. stand. Yeah. And you know when you have good roots, and of course, mm -hmm. the palm tree. It talks about the palm tree mm -hmm. having roots and growing in the desert. Mm -hmm. Have roots that go way down to find the water. All yeah. the way to the water. Yeah. And you know, in the middle of the desert, nothing grows. But the palm tree is nice and green. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because it's got roots deep down. Yes. Amen. So when the storms of life come, mm -hmm. you're not shaking and you're not moved. Let me, read it to you. Let me read it to you this way. Build a root system so strong that when the winds of change or the winds uh, or the hurricanes of life uh -huh. blow, oh, yeah. your life is dedicated to Him. Your life is not moved yeah. by those winds, by those yeah. chains because your root system is so strong in Him. Mm -hmm. And I've got another one that says, build a root system, build a strong root system in Him and His Word, so when the storms of life come, you will be ready. Mm -hmm. Amen? You'll be ready. Because you've got deep roots. Mm -hmm. Amen? And that's what we need to do as we mature in Him. Mm -hmm. Let me read you a couple of scriptures, and then we're going to continue. Uh, Jeremiah 17, 7-8 seven says this in the easy-to-read uh, version, But those who trust in the Lord will be blessed. Mm -hmm. They know that the Lord will do what he says. They will be strong like trees planted 
new a spring that send out roots to the water. They have nothing to fear. When the days get hot, their leaves always green. Maybe. They never worry, even in a year that there's no rain. There's right. no rain. Amen. They will produce fruit. Guess uh -huh. what? When you produce, when you grow in Him and mature in Him, seasons come and seasons go, yeah, and your do. roots are growing in the Word. Yes. So when the storms of life come, you're not moved. Mm. You stand, and you're gonna stand Amen. no matter what is going on. And Amen. that's what we need to do. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Springs come. Since uh, as spring becomes brighter and winter recedes, we're looking forward to the growing and the blooming season. It is a wonderful time when trees, shrubs, flowers, cactus, vegetables, and fruits uh, burst forth into a wondrous display of new blooms, mm -hmm. new life, and new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Same thing with our lives. Same thing with our lives. You know, we're maturing and we're growing and new things are happening. New beginnings are happening to us. Mm -hmm. We're blooming for Him. Amen. And you know, people see the blooms. They see the change. Yes. Seasons come, seasons go. But they see the change. You're not the same person <laughs> I used to see. Thank God. They notice. So watch your words, your actions, because they're always reading you. You're oh, the closest yeah. thing to a Bible they'll ever see and they ever read. But they're reading you. They're watching you. you different. You just got this glow about you. Mm -hmm. You just got this blue <laughs> about you. <laughs> That's right. It's a word. You're growing. You're growing and maturing. Amen. Amen. As believers, uh, as believers build a root system so strong that the winds of change, just from what I read, or the winds of life won't blow them into a life dedicated to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you spend time with Him, Lord, I'm going to dedicate myself to you. Mm -hmm. I'm surrendering myself to you. I'm dedicating myself to you. Thank you. And I'm going to go and go. I'm going to go and grow for you. Amen. Praise God. We talked about this, but we have to change the traditions. We have to change the mindsets. Mm -hmm. I've talked about the body of Christ, the church, not denominations. Right. God's church is us. Yes. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Yes. He says also that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> it used to be I reverence a building where I went and had service mm. because I was told that was the church house. Mm -hmm. And I had more honor and respect for that mm -hmm. than I did for my body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But now I know I am the church. Mm -hmm. I'm going to church. Well, you are the church. You know what? You're the church wherever you go. Yes. Amen. Because he goes with you. Yeah. And he's with you all the time. He never leaves you, nor forsakes you. Amen. So wherever you go, you're the body of Christ. Oh, you want somewhere to happen for him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we got to change these traditions, these mindsets, and go and move for him. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Amen. I know you've read a lot of these. Bloom where you planted. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12 and verse 18. I'm going to read them to you. It says, The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So yeah. it is with the body of Christ. Yeah. And verse 18 says, Our bodies have many parts, and God has placed each part just where He wants it. Yeah. And a lot of times we're disappointed, we're upset because we're looking for more important things to do. <laughs> but if he gave it to you yes. and he sent you and yes. he planted you where you are, Amen. why should we be mm -hmm. looking for something better? Mm -hmm. Unless we're competing and we're not called to compete, we're called That's to right. compete. Amen. Amen. So be happy where you are. Aren't you glad that your face is where it's at? And your yeah. eyes and your nose and your mouth yeah. and your hands, your feet, all these things oh, he, yes. he already said. They're in the right place. They're in the right place. Thank you, Jesus. So guess what? Wherever he places you, be happy. Amen. Amen. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> verse Corinthians also, um, verse 12, 27 through 31. This is in the Message Bible. It says, we are Christ's body. That's where you are. You must never forget this. Only as you accept your part as the body. Uh -huh. That body, this uh, part, means something to you. Let that body part mean something to you. God placed you where he wants you. So let it be important to you. Why? Because he put you there. Amen. So 
the eye and the ear and the nose, they're not fighting about you, you're in the spot I want to be. Amen. Just accept where God placed you. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is this is this is awesome. This is great. Woo. Only as you accept your part of that body does your part mean anything. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with some of the parts that God has given his church. Which is his body. The apostle, the prophet, the teacher, the miracle worker, the healer, the helper, the organizer, and those who pray in tongues. Christ's church is a complete body. Yes, it is. It's not all apostles. It's not all prophets. It's not all miracle workers. It's not all healers, not all praying in tongues, and not all interpreting tongues. That's and right. yet, some of you compete oh boy. for important parts. Mm -hmm. We don't compete, we complete. Mm -hmm. Remember and know that he has placed you and sent you where he wants you. Amen? He, he, <laughs> God sent you where he wants you. Mm -hmm. He sent you where he wants you. So do your best and honor him. Amen. You know where he sets you. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's very simple. He just compares us to a uh, physical body and the parts he's put on the body. The, the, the body parts don't argue about uh -huh. where they are. That's right. So in the body of Christ, he's called some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, pastors, and teachers, which is called a fivefold ministry. Mm -hmm. But not all of us do that. But what we call all of us to do is be ministers of reconciliation. Yes. And going out into the world. That's right. And reconciling people to back to him. Amen. We're his mouthpiece. We're ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is what we can do. And he says we can do all things all through things. Christ. Uh -huh. All things through Christ. Yes. And we can all do this. So it's not about competing or how many you brought to Christ. Huh. It's about us coming together. Yes. And, and, and serving and growing Amen. and, and, and uh, growing in unity. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Huh. This is great. Uh -huh. Bloom where you're planted. Sow a seed for God to do something new in your life. Uh -huh. Praise God. Many people live negative and discouraged because they don't like where they are in life. They don't like self, oh, their boy. jobs, their careers, mm. their friends. They're not where they want to be. Mm. Not satisfied. Always fighting, being oh. negative, complaining. Yeah. Against everything or anything. Okay. Always wanting to be elsewhere oh, or doing goodness. something else. Mm -hmm. You hear somebody talk, ah, you know, I wanted to do that. I wanted to be there. <laughs> Always. Oh, Not God. happy. Yeah. I wrote it this way. Uh, uh, uh. Incomplete. Looking for something to complete them. Uh -huh. It's the world. You know, they're looking for something to complete them. You're not satisfied. You haven't accepted Christ and surrendering your life to Christ. If you haven't, you're listening, you're watching. If you haven't surrendered your life to Christ, now is the time. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. I just want to surrender my life to you, come to you. Just go to Bible-based church where you can go and learn the Word. Start learning the Word. Amen. Start reading the Word of God. Amen. I was reading something yesterday that says, you know what? The devil's not afraid of a dusty Bible. That's right. <laughs> you know why? It's never been opened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say, well, God never talks to me. Well, your Bible's dusty over there. Mm -hmm. It's never been opened. Mm -hmm. He's never visited with you because you never open up to him. Mm -hmm. We need to open up to him and spend time with him and grow. You know, we start maturing in the things of God and growing and going for him. Don't wait till things get better. That's before right. you have, before, uh, before you have a good attitude. All right. Amen. Yes. I think uh, Brother Oscar said something like this: "It's bad attitude and flat tires have this thing in common." Oh boy! You got to change it before you go anywhere. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come see me until <laughs> you get your attitude right. <laughs> Same thing with him, you know. How are you yeah. going to minister to somebody? Yeah. All ticked off. Oh, you can't. You know Jesus. No. <laughs> no, and I don't know you, so get lost. <laughs> it might over you. <laughs> I know who are you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, praise God. Have a right attitude. Yes. There it is. Hurry up. Let me see what I wrote here. Good way for the world's approval or friends' approval. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh-uh. If I could only say that. Here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hebrews 10, uh, 10 20, 24 and 25 says about us coming together, assembling ourselves together. Those of you that are watching and listening, have a home church you can go to. I know yes. we have phones, I know we have uh, media, I know we have TVs, all these things, you know, yeah. but still, assemble yourselves together. Yes. He Amen. says, come together. Yes, he go can. somewhere. Have a home church yeah. where the pastor can come visit with you, or he can come pray for you, or come yeah. see you at the hospital. Uh -huh. You know, he can do that through TV. That's you know, it. so have a home church where you can, <laughs> they can pray for you, lay hands on you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So praise God. Yeah, this is this is for all of us, you know. I say, well, you know, hey, uh, I can just uh, see from phone. I can see if you're working. I can see if you're working, <laughs> or maybe you're in a hospital, or you just couldn't not feeling well at home. Uh, but you know, assemble ourselves together. Why? Because it's so important that we come yes. and see each other and encourage one another and say, "Hey, brother, sister, you can make it." Yeah. I yeah. went through that. Get filled but you know what? Amen. Yeah, we got to get filled up. You know, before you go know anywhere, you got to change that that flat tire, that bad attitude. Not only that, but you got to just fill yourself up. You know, you can't go anywhere if you don't have no fuel. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have some spiritual fuel every time you go out. You know, yeah. fill yourself up to overflowing. Yes. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like if there's no no word in you, how you gonna get word if if you're empty? Yeah. You know, you got to fill yourself up with the Word yes. of God. Amen. I mean, you know, and as you empty yourself, fill yourself yes. back up. Yes, that's right. You know, just like you do your car, so faithful, you know, when it needs to eat, it doesn't eat enough. It needs empty. <laughs> so you put more gas in it so you can keep going. It's a great yes. tool to use, but you got to keep it filled. Oh, we, Jesus. Uh, to go and minister the word, so we got to get the word in us, yes. stay filled with the word, yes. so we can give yeah, the word. Give the word out. Amen. Give the word out. Man. <laughs> Be God's best where you yes. are now on the way to where you're going. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Be the best you are right now. Be, let me see. Be the best where you are now on the way you're going for Him. Amen. Amen. We just. Bible says we're just traveling through. This is not our home. That's right. Thank you. Heaven is our home. <laughs> we're just passing through. Ugh. And you know, sometimes he takes us from place to place. Mm -hmm. You know, Monday, tomorrow, I'll be still, I'll be in Midland. I'll be somewhere else. But you know, we still have the greater one in us. Mm -hmm. You're still his his going somewhere to happen yes. to somebody. Amen. Amen. Be the best wherever you go. Amen. You know, just because you leave these four walls in this building. <laughs> Don't mean you gotta act up and be somebody else. Oh. <laughs> say what you mean, Jesus. I saw you. I know what you're all about. You say you're you are you are in lovey dovey in church, but oh. when you come out of that church, oh, you say like you're a rascal, you're a devil. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, come on now. Oh, man. Man. That was long. Talk, that was long. Talk, talk, talking about pastor now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's a lot of them though. It won't last long. <laughs> put a smile on your face. Get up. Put a smile on your face. Put a pep in your step. Oh yeah. Get a pep rally with Jesus. Amen. <laughs> have, have, a, have a pep rally with Jesus on a daily basis. You know, get yourself stirred up. Daily. You know, not just once in a while. I mean, you can do it often. Yes. You don't have yes. to wait. Wait till Sunday. No, just feel yourself. Every time you feel yeah. empty, just have a pep rally, you know? Yes. You know, <laughs> well, just get excited. Be so yes. happy for him. Amen. And, uh, and spend time with him. And let him just flow out of you. He yes. says, if you fill yourself up, he says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers. Yeah, rivers. Living water. Amen. Living water, not dead water. Amen. But living, living, living water. water. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You know, if you don't know, you're in God's army. Yes. You're in God's team. And yes. God's team never loses. That's right. God's team Amen. always wins. Yes, it does. <laughs> Teamwork is being loving. Yes. Even when they're unlovable. Ooh. <laughs> you see these people on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> they greet you. <laughs> Sometimes, well, <laughs> being good even when they're not good. Mm. Being kind even when they're rude. Mm. Being grateful where you live even if it's not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Have a positive, have a good, have a grateful, grateful, an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, 
I'm getting way ahead of myself, but Paul and Silas were beaten mm -hmm. for preaching the word. And they were put in prison, not only in prison, but they were put way down in prison. Mm -hmm. In the dungeon. In the dungeon, yeah. And at the midnight hour, the Bible says, my Bible says, they were singing mm -hmm. to the Lord. And mm -hmm. they weren't complaining. <laughs> Some of us probably be complaining mm -hmm. and crying. And why did he let this happen to me? <laughs> they were singing and they weren't whispering because the Bible says the prisoners heard. Yes. I don't know how big that prison was, but the prisoners heard. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Jesus heard. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, He said, Angel. Mm -hmm. All the prison doors flew open mm -hmm. and the, the chains of bondage mm -hmm. came off. Mm -hmm. and came off. And the guard started killing himself. He said, don't kill yourself, we're all here. Mm -hmm. Him and his family got saved. Mm -hmm. That's what? When you bring that to somebody that's lost, they can come to Christ and be set free. All them chains of bondage will come off. Amen. Amen. Those prison doors that held them captives, all these years will come open. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God can use them now. Mm -hmm. They'll be there for God to be for, for God to use. Nothing in life just happened to us. It happened for us. Yes. Keep the right attitude. Lord guides and provides. Amen. He also says, he tells us this all the time. Mm -hmm. And we keep forgetting. He says, cast all your cares on me because I care for you. Mm -hmm. And we try to carry yeah. ourselves. We try to carry the extra weight. We try to carry all the cares, all the worries, all the anxieties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he's already said, give it, mm -hmm. give it to me. Yeah, yeah. I want you to go into the mission fields. I want you to be successful mm -hmm. in doing what I've called you to do. Yeah. I've already told you you could. Yeah. But we try to carry all these negative things that we're not allowed to carry. Mm -hmm. Just give it to me. Yeah. And when you give it to him, don't take it back. That's when he yeah. takes things from you that you're not supposed to have, let him go. Yeah. Don't chase it back after him. Amen. <laughs> let them go. Amen. Sometimes... He takes people from us. Oh, thank I told, you, I told you at times, I told the Lord to help me. Mm -hmm. With my enemies, I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. So if he takes people from you, mm -hmm. don't go chase him back after you. That's Amen. it. Amen. <laughs> that person that was hard to get along with, he's not just <laughs> happening to you. He's happening for you. Oh, my <laughs> God is using them to grow you up. Oh, man. Call maturity. <laughs> yes. You are developing character. Mm -hmm. You are maturing spiritually. You're blooming and you're growing and you're going for Him. Amen. Seasons change. Yeah. Seasons are changing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Used to be that way. Seasons change. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank yeah. God. God gave us seasons. Amen. Yes. yes. Get out of the flesh and get in the spirit. You're yes. growing and maturing. Yeah. You're learning to be Christ like. Yeah. <laughs> Ephesians 5 1 and 2 says, to imitate him. Amen. Uh -huh. Imitate him. Be like him. Let's go there. Amen. Ephesians. Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's in the New Testament. Yes. You there yet? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting there. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. But ye therefore followers of God. What's he call us? As dear children. Followers of God as dear children. Remember, you're no longer a sinner. You come That's to right. Christ. So don't quit to calling yourself a sinner. That's if somebody right. calls you a sinner, I say, you're talking to the wrong person. That's it. I'm a child of God. Amen. He loves us. He calls me a child. Children. Mm -hmm. Number two says what? And walk, and walk in love. love as Christ also has loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God as a sweet smelling, smelling Savior. Amen. Amen. So in the Amplified it talks about it says therefore be imitators of God. Copy him and follow him his example as well beloved children imitate their father. Mm -hmm. And walk in love esteeming and delighting one another as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a slain offering uh, and sacrifice to God for you so that it become a sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. Imitate him. Amen. Amen. So guess what? There's a season change because we're going to have to change the way we think, 
the way we talk, mm -hmm. and we've been talking about this, we got to change our vocabulary. we got to change our language. we got to change being positive instead of negative. Mm -hmm. We're so used to confessing the wrong instead of confessing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. we got to speak the right. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes <clears throat> we have to just lock the lips. Oh, boy. <laughs> Guard your mm -hmm. words. Amen. 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 Because you want to say it. And I told you this before, I come from a family of cousin champs, you know. And I know all the cuss words, but they only get this far. Mm -hmm. I don't allow them to go out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you sow a seed. Remember, seeds are, are seed. Words are seeds. Mm -hmm. And seeds that you sow, seeds that you plant, are going to grow. Mm -hmm. And they're going to grow in your life. Yeah. And I don't want those things growing in my life. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Ephesians, bro. Ephesians uh, 5, 1 and 2 in the New King James is therefore be imitators of Christ as your children. Walk in love as Christ also walked, has loved us, and has given himself for us. An offering and a sacrifice to God and sweet smelling aroma. God uses difficult people, this is what I told you a few minutes ago. God uses difficult people like sandpaper to rub no. the rough edges of the view. Mm, <laughs> but if God can Forgive and forget, so can we. Yeah, <laughs> Amen. We don't have to be the best of birds, you know, but <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> bless your heart. Oh, Lord. Bless your heart. Oh. I want to lay hands on you. I mean, I want to lay hands. <laughs> I want to lay hands on you, but um uh, <laughs> God wants to heal you after yeah. I get you. <laughs> You gotta pray for Pastor. <laughs> you can only listen. You can only do this with God's love, God's help, and His love. Yes. Like up. That's right. Next time you see this difficult person, instead of uh, <laughs> getting upset or stressed out, smile big. <laughs> Don't say nothing. <laughs> smile big. <laughs> And tell them Jesus loves you. <laughs> and they're used to you reacting negative. Now they're going to say, What happens? They're going to pass out. <laughs> they're going to pass out. Amen. Amen. And then you tell them, I didn't touch him. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> Just watch him pass out. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all stop me. Remember to get up, eat it, eat it, He has in store. That's right. You are to grow and go for him. Yes. Blooming 
and being fruitful for him. Yes. <coughs> uh, Luke 6, 6 uh, 38 says to give it, it shall be given unto you. Yes. Good measure, press down and, and run it over. Yeah. Amen. <sighs> Let's go. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, anyway, no. You guys got me laughing. <laughs> Luke 6 38. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it says to give. Yes. And you know, kind of Talking about, talking about love. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Start at verse 38. Start at verse 37. 37. It says, Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Yes. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Uh -huh. Now, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Mm -hmm. Good measure, press right. down, shaking right. together, running over, shall man give unto your bosom. For with the same measure, that you meet uh -huh. with all, it shall be measured Thank to you, you again. Amen. 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 So you, guess what? You give love. Yes. Give, 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 give. He's, you know what happens when you give? You mm -hmm. give. Yes. You get blessings. You get yeah. blessed. Well, mm -hmm. I never get anything. Well, it's the time you start giving. Uh -huh. Well, you know, every time we talk about give, all you think about is money. Mm. But we have so much to give. You got to give of yourself first. Yeah. yeah. Give yourself back to the Father. Yeah. And say, Father, here I am. Use me. Mm -hmm. and you can give kind words. Mm -hmm. You can give a thank you. Mm -hmm. You can give so many things. I, we got a list back there of things that you can give. Yes. You can give your love. You can give a kind word. You can you can give all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Give a, give help. Give you give yourself help yes. someone. Amen. Yes. Amen. There's so many things you can give Praise even God. before you give of your tithe. Amen. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're still in the construction. Yes. And he's still working on us. Amen. He's not finished with us. Remember, he's the potter with the clay. Amen. So he's not finished. All through life, he's not finished with you yet. See yourself a learner, not um, a failure. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Don't see yourself a fail, a failure. And don't let somebody tell you. That God can't use you anymore because That's you right. failed or you sinned. Mm -mm. Yeah. What you want to do is ask Him to give you Scripture. Where mm -hmm. can you have Scripture for that? Mm -hmm. And they say, No, well, somebody told me. Mm -hmm. So who is this so and so that told mm -hmm. you? Well, I don't know. So and so told them. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I want to see what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. When you know the Word, it's going to set you free. Amen. The truth Amen. of God Amen. is going to set you free. Yes, so never does it say. And then the prodigal son ran from the father, oh. but he came back. He says, I, I can do better at father's house. Oh. And he came back. Did the father turn him away? Mm -hmm. No. He said he ran to meet him. Yes, he and did. And hugged him. And he all, immediately restored him. That's what father wants to do with you, mm -hmm. you know. You walked away from him all this time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long. Some of you watching. Some of you have somebody listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been running too long. Yeah. And you know when you're doing a turnaround, he's right there waiting for you with open arms. Mm -hmm. Ready to say, welcome home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Welcome home. Yes. Amen. Welcome you. home. And guess Praise what? God. It's time to get busy for me again. Mm -hmm. He gave you gifts and he put things on you that he's not taking back. Mm -hmm. He said, it's time to get busy again. Mm -hmm. It's time to get busy. Guess what? He's the head with the body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's going to use the body to do the work, to finish the work. So he wants to, he wants you to stay busy. Get off your going see I'm right and get involved. Mm -hmm. and, you know, quit playing this pity party stuff. Mm -hmm. But using excuses, it's time to get busy for him again. Amen. 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 Stay active, stay busy. Yeah. yeah. Act six, uh, well, I already, already met you this. It's, it's a story about uh, Paul and Silas. Uh -huh. But they were beaten, they weren't complaining or being difficult with God. Say, so why'd you do this to me, Lord? You know? It's time to get over that. Yeah. It's time to press on. Yeah. Know the word. Know, have relationship with him. When yes. you have relationship, means you he knows you and well he already knows you, but you yes. get to know him and yeah. what the word of God says. Yeah. So that you're not holding in bondage anymore. So that you can be set free. The word sets you free from all these things the world tries to mm -hmm. hold you down on. What the enemy tries to use to hold you down. 
Mm-hmm. You don't have to be holding that. You don't. You don't have to be held down anymore. That's right. It's time for you to be free Amen. and do what God has called you to do. Yeah. You know, if you're here, that means He put you here. Mm-hmm. You're not an accident. You're not a mistake. That's right. You are somebody special yes. to Him, and you're on a special mission for Him, mm-hmm. and He's qualified you and appointed you and approved you. Mm-hmm. And all you have to do is make yourself available and say, "Father, what is it you have for me? Yeah. What can I do for you?" And get busy. Amen. 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 Ask Rusty. Amen. If you had never talked to Brother Rusty, ask him when he told Father that you want to do something. <laughs> Lord gave him a mission for you. <laughs> gave him a mission for you. And he's got something for you. You know, he might not have a mission for you. He might just have you go a certain place, do a certain thing. But still, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm-hmm. And, he, you know, when you're faithful in what he's called you to do, He's going to promote Amen. you. Mm-hmm. you. Just be faithful where you are until yes. He promotes you. Amen. When He promotes you, you know, and you do that, He'll keep promoting you yeah. until one day He calls you home and He'll say, mm-hmm. Welcome home, mm-hmm. good and faithful Thank servant. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. So, yeah, <laughs> we learn so many things. Learn this. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, yes. learn to be a servant of all. Amen. Not just some people, yeah. certain people, says a servant of all. Oh, for God yes. rolled up the world yes. and he sacrificed his son. Mm-hmm. So it's about all, oh, not just Amen. some. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it may not feel good or be it may not feel good or be in the right place, but it's allowed me to grow and go for him yeah. and be all he created me to be. Yes. So often we fight. Mm-hmm. So often we fight it. And we're against it. Mm. We always want to be in that little comfy zone mm. to be happy. It's always greener on the other side. Oh, Over no. there is a place to be. Mm-mm. But you know what? Be fruitful and bloom Amen. where he sets you. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Stop there. Praise God. Thank you, Lord.